What's up adventurers? Today we're gonna to talk about the future of the live and the do model. And if you like this type of content from us, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have any comments or questions that you would like us to answer, please leave them in the comments below. All right, let's get into it. All right, Lane, get it going, buddy. <laughs> All right, so what I'm, I think a lot of people are probably curious after the release of the move is what is the future of the live and do models? Will they still be custom builds? Are they are they going away completely? Kind of what's the future for them? Uh, so I don't know what like this will release, but within the coming weeks or currently, or when I guess when you watch this, so we are doing away with the custom order form for the lives and do's. Now, that's just a little bit tricky to say, um, but that really is the fact. Mm -hmm. What we're doing with them is is we're going to what we've always tested, paid tested, you know, tried different things, mm -hmm. but during COVID, we supply restraints. We had customers in production line who had vans on order, and we had chassis in the parking lot because we were taking anything we could get, yeah. but we had a lot of people who were waiting because they wanted adaptive crews. They wanted power sliding door. They wanted these certain features that these vans, because of the chip shortages, didn't, they didn't have. Mm -hmm. So... We've always talked about inventory building to where it's ready to go. Yeah. And we know, having 1,000 plus owners, we know that we can help set up packages that's going to take care of the 99%. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. We are just simplifying the front end side of the process, more importantly, internally for yeah. us. But then whenever a customer comes to us and wants an option, um, there's a uh, how to get a van from us uh, on our inventory page. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's going to kind of rewrite a little bit of that script yeah. to where lives and do's, you can't do a custom order. But that is a little bit of an asterisk, but can you buy an inventory unit and we do a work order on it? Yes. Mm -hmm. But at least the 90% is done. So instead of six, eight months, maybe 10 months at some point for lives and do's, it is come in, tour, get taken exact to your unit, test drive it, put money down, pick up in three to four weeks after your changes. Yeah. And that is, that's the new direction we live and do's. And so it's strictly what we currently have available online um, and or in a level of kind of backlog going through production is what we have available. There yeah. is no way to just order. Um, you know, but if you are looking for something, and this is the biggest thing that I would tell anybody watching, um, if you're looking for something, just let us know. Mm -hmm. Because if it's saying, hey, you guys don't currently have a live model, that's really what we want. We've seen them. We've talked to ambassadors. Easy, Douglas. Uh, <laughs> we've talked to different people. Let us know. Yeah. We might have something already in the works we just haven't released. You know, maybe we just took a trade in because someone just bought a move model. So what we realize is, is that us being in the driver's seat only helps assist our owners more. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. Yeah. What, what would you say to somebody who is interested in an inventory unit that um, because they didn't see something on our website, like should they wait? Should they yeah. <laughs> contact, like get on a list? Like yeah. what's the best? Um, they need to reach out. Yeah. They need to become a lead in our system. There's a couple of things. One reason to become a lead is because then you get notified anytime we release something. Two, even though there's not a like a build sheet that you can fill out for different things, there are units maybe we sold, and the sales team's able to take that and say, hey, is this what you're looking for? Mm -hmm. Because then I can go to work for you. I can see about changing an allocation spot in production. I can look at seeing if we have something that just came in. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like selling stuff before it's actually ever available. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying that's really necessarily the goal here, but it kind of is. Mm -hmm. it, it's... In a way, it's a level of pre-sell yeah. um, to an extent, to where if like you don't see something, but it's like, hey, this unit that just sold, I want that. Yeah. Well, make us aware because we might already have that slotted. We might be building three more in production yeah. currently that the team has been made aware of. Yeah. So that is a lot of what we are going in, the, in that direction. So when you talk about list, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pipeline, people who put money down for units and production line. Yeah. There's also working towards kind of that idea of a list of people who are just on standby waiting for what comes available. Mm -hmm. um, and that is, uh, they're, they're kind of the same thing, 
the only thing we're removing is just the variable of you getting to choose every little piece. Yeah. You know, because that's what hurts the timeline piece. Yeah. So. But it is like, hey, get on the list. Tell us, like, what mileage you're comfortable with. Let us know somewhat of a price range and then what model you kind of are leaning towards. And if we know something's coming down the pipeline, like, we can reach out. Yep, we can reach out. And, and we do that kind of a little bit now. We're only emphasizing it now yeah. with no custom build order. Because mm-hmm. that's the problem is, you know, it's like, hey, it's like, I'm willing to wait six months if I can get exactly what I want. But then when we see people making that choice, mm-hmm. and then I compare it and I say, well, what is it that you're waiting for? Yeah. And I look at it, I'm like, I can do that to five vans we already have available, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so Just let us know. it's helping remove the noise and helping us be more efficient. It, yeah. It forces us as a company and forces our, you know, salespeople, our team to help be creative to take care of you. Yeah. And that's kind of the, you know, handcuff off approach of we want you in a van, we want you in a van now. We probably have something that does that. Yeah. Just you help us make us aware. Yeah. So. No, I think uh, it's smart because it also fits a wider range of people because we might have a 2018 that fits the pricing and the mileage and everything makes sense for them rather than like going to a brand new van. That, right. That the, they, they can never get into a van that way. So yeah. Um, what is the timeline for somebody that wants an inventory unit? I mean, uh, if you look online, you see something available and you want it and you're a cash buyer. I mean, it could be three weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of that's just due to planning for pickup, delivery, things like that. You need, like, if you don't live close, I mean, you need to set up logistics anyway. Um, so it's about three weeks because you got to go through operations and steps. If you're financing, you know, you still can be in that bubble. It's just how fast you can supply us your information, yeah. really. I mean, a lot of times I would say the timeline can, becomes dependent on how fast you can get us what we need. Yeah. Um, but you are in that, um, for most people, you're still in that three to six week range. Mm-hmm. Um, and the only reason it's not really faster is mainly because again, it's logistics. Yeah. It's getting you in. Um, have we ever had someone come in for a tour and say, Hey, I just want to pay cash. I'm going to stay local for a day while you get it ready. We have had it. Um, it does add an extra layer of stress, mainly because everything's moving so fast. No yeah. one has a chance to double check. Mm-hmm. No one has a chance to say, hey, you're getting this unit. You told me X, Y, Z. Are you sure you don't want to look at also like this feature we can add? Yeah. Um, and that's what the team does a great job of. And so pulling it out at least a couple of weeks helps say, okay, take a breather, take a step back. Now you've bought, are you sure you don't want to, you know, right now it's got no lift. Mm. We can add a lift. We just need a little time. Yeah. So, um, so I mean, it's, I would say three to six weeks is really what I would kind of hold there. What we try to do is if you're financing, we try to get you in that pre-approval window. So if we go ahead and run you and get you approved, we want to get it done in that timeline, mainly so we don't have to run again. Yeah. So once you get that interest rate, you're happy, you're good. We want to do everything possible to keep it. Yeah. You know, and we do have some people who really want to keep it. They don't lose it. So they go ahead and purchase, they make payment, they do everything before they actually come get the van Mm -hmm. so that they go ahead and get their, you know, plates taken care of, their insurance taken care of, like all those things. So, but three, six weeks. Yeah. Uh, You mentioned something like a Q-Lip getting added. So there is some level of customization you can still do. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Um, and that's what's really exciting about the live and do is going away from custom build order sheets. So like right now we have a brand new unit listed online. Mm-hmm. We're building, that's a package that's released. Um, now from the perspective, it looks like it's a, like that unit itself. Mm-hmm. At one point it was, we're building all like a group of them. Yeah, clones. Of clones. Yeah. Um, so they're a little more packaged than they are that specific unit. Mm-hmm. You would never know the difference because they are identical. Yeah. Um, but what we do is we put stop points. So what people would know is, is like those units don't have roof racks on them yet. They also don't have any of the exterior work done. Mm -hmm. So when you buy that package, you like, we are setting it up to where we believe what's in that photo is exactly what the package should be. Yeah. But it does give that chance to breather and say, okay, now that you've committed to what's in the photo, you can make these variable changes in that time frame. Yeah. The main thing is, is that. If you say no, 
again, it's an efficiency thing to where it's like, you say no, great, we're going to complete the unit. Yeah. Because it's already put in the order forms. Like, it's already been put through the whole system, parts allocated to look like that photo. But we pause it at some point before a name is tagged just in case a person wants to make a change. Mm -hmm. And so, um, couldn't that be a little bit confusing? Yes. If a person says, hey, I want to go see the unit that I looked at online, you say, well, exterior is not done, but interior is. Yeah. They say, well, well, what was in the photo? So it's, you know, we did have that. Um, and I look at it as a big value add for the customer. Yeah. Because it gives a chance for us to still make a change. Also, you know, the closer to your pickup date that we change your oil, do the certificate, mm -hmm. you would do those things, the better off you are. Yeah. So it's kind of like a why not. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, uh, I mean, that's, that's kind of how those units flow. Yeah. What if, say, somebody... At first, they thought, yeah, I want a brand new move. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, oh, but that that live package that I see online, that's actually what I want. Mm -hmm. w w would you let somebody switch to Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. yeah, we let people switch both ways. Um, I mean, it's it, again, I, I'm going to let a person do whatever they want. That's going to give them the most customer satisfaction. Yeah. Um, you know, until it's like used and abused, hey, I'm going to make sure you're taken care of. Yeah. If that makes sense for you, great. Um, also, though, I always try to empower all employees, uh, myself included, to, to know that if a customer is working themselves in a direction that you probably know doesn't make sense, mm -hmm. help pause it at some point. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes we get ourselves in trouble. Uh, I mean, you know, like you see it too here. Uh we have customers come in on pickup day, you know, then they get a chance to look at something different. And they're like, well, I thought I had the most up to date. It's like, yeah. yeah, you put down money two months ago, which the whole package and inventory building, that's actually going to help assist that. Yeah. It's going to help assist and just make sure that when we do releases, they'll still be steady, but managed mm -hmm. to where the team knows also that if you had requests that we're going to be able to take care of in a month or two, it's just knowledge and know-how. Yeah. So, um, but no, I mean, person says, hey, you know what? I thought about a move. Pricing. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm trying to make a move work, and now I realize that actually what I want from the move is really able to be done and do. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Make the change. Make the shift. Yeah. It's also a thing. It's like once you get in with us and we start working numbers and financially, you realize you can afford a lot more. Yeah. Maybe you do want to step up to kind of that cream of the crop move model. Um there's also the flip side, which you realize, hey, I didn't really think about, you know, the payment size. I really didn't think about those mm -hmm. things. You know, maybe I wanted to replace, you know, my car payment. Now maybe I'm not wanting to. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you go the opposite direction. You realize, well, you built out a move, you know, but what really works best for you is a live. Yeah. And we've done that a handful of times with people who are really trying to match a budget. Yeah. Um, cause the move is hard, you know, the move is pretty hard. It's, it's a, I mean, it's a superior, it's a top end product. I mean, yeah. We, there's a lot of, of advancements to it, mm -hmm. but the core features, the core values, they're there in the live and the do. Yeah. And somebody might go, what I initially thought I wanted in a move, I wanted to add all these things. So it really makes more sense for me to add all those things to a live model or something like that to fit their budget a little bit better. Yeah, Absolutely. So it doesn't sound like the live and do are going anywhere. They're here to stay. <laughs> they're here to stay. Yeah, they're they're not going anywhere. You know, as anything, I mean, we can't we can't be the ones that determine what fate looks like. I mean, it's a matter of I you know firmly believe it's exactly what we have to do, which is we have to allow our models shift in the way that they need to shift. Um, lives and do's. You know, that's why the custom order sheets, because we've just listened for so long. Yeah. We know that we can help assist customers by doing what we're doing is yeah. the re reality. But they're here to stay, um, you know, to what degree of our production? That's the market. Mm -hmm. The market tells us that. Yeah. But supplies are on the shelf. Um, as we sell them, we're going to build more. We're going to be keeping so many always in inventory. Yeah. And we're going to kind of just see how they roll and... As I sell, we were replenish. I mean, that's kind of yeah. how we're going to handle it. Yeah. No, that that's great. So if you want one, don't wait. Reach out. It, don't wait for the perfect one. Reach out, and it'll come available. We'll there find you go. It for you. Yep. And if you don't think it's the perfect one, 
you don't know that thing that makes it perfect we can do for you yeah so awesome okay right. appreciate it buddy all right keelan music everybody <laughs> check them out check them out <laughs>